You know, Impressionism is an art unto itself, and one person who has absolutely mastered it is Louise Duarte. She's a native of Quincy, Mass., and she lives in Los Angeles these days because of her performing career on television and clubs and so on. And this morning, she's visiting us while visiting in town. And I can't believe I've been saying you're a female impersonator. I'm all right. Well, listen, Eileen, the only difference is they wear falsies, I don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> You. I'm great. Yeah. It's so great to be back in it's, my hometown. I bet it is, yeah. and you're doing so well. Well, we're trying. Things yeah. are starting to finally move. <laughs> it's it, been years. Has it really? <sighs> tough, it's huh? tough. It's a tough business. Yeah. Very, very tough. Yeah. You know, uh, we were just talking about that beautiful dress that was worn to the Oscars. Did you make it there this year? I was at the Oscars this year, and I was, oh, you know, my favorite who won, of course. The belle of the ball was, uh, we'll see if you know who this is. I was so excited. I won, I won, I won. Oh, they can all kiss my tattoos for all I care. Oh, gosh! Listen, Eileen, I'm so excited because, you know, I did Silkwood, Mask, Moonstruck, and I haven't had such good luck in the movies since I picked up two ushers and a snack bar boy. Oh, gosh! Oh, but I, I've got to tell you, the strangest thing that happened is I go to the Oscars, and I'm so excited. I get in this backstage elevator with all my favorite celebrities, and all of a sudden, the darn thing got stuck. And it, it, yeah. Oh, oh, she look, the elevator doors down open. We have you stuck in here and can't get out. And look at that, Sherry Winters eating everybody's food. <laughs> I can't help it, Edith. I'm so hungry. I just need a little snack to tide me over. Like a side of beef or something would be nice. <laughs> Well, why doesn't somebody yell for help before I eat those frog legs and pig's feet? <laughs> Mrs. Kermit the Frog here. That's a very good idea, uh, Miss Winters. Let's see who's got the biggest mouth in the elevator room. How about you, Carol Burnett? Well, all right, Kermit, I'll try. <laughs> why, y'all have any questions? Yeah! Eunice, why don't you use that trap of yours for something useful and yell for help like I asked you to, girl? Well, all right, old lady, I will. Oh! <laughs> I got somebody on the emergency phone here. Hello, you have reached Dr. Ruth Gestheimer. You're on the air. What is your question? Well, Dr. Ruth, it's me, Barbara. Listen, this is so embarrassing, but we seem to be stuck here. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Who's stuck? <laughs> then, Barbara, let me ask you this. Are you using contraceptives? <laughs> Dr. Ruth, they're not talking about what you are talking about. You know what I'm talking about? You little sex crazed munchkin. As the mayor of Munchkin City, I resent that. I <laughs> wish you a good witch or a bad witch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who killed my sister? What the heck is she talking about? I'll get you, my pretty. You and that mangy little dog, too. Oh, that ain't no dog. That's my daughter, Gloria. <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, Mr. Graham. <laughs> oh, Popeye, my hero. Well, I'll blow the doors down. To go, because I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Woo -woo! Oh, God. Oh. You're a wonder. Well, we got out. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a riot in high school. Well, it's because of all my buddies in high school that I'm doing this today. You know, they used to encourage me. I'll bet and, you are oh, funny, lady. Oh, Do you use this to get out of sticky situations? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I've got to tell you this story. It's a true story, I swear. My folks came to visit me in California, and I wanted to take them to this, you know, fancy schmancy restaurant where all the celebrities go. So I called up on the phone, and uh, they said, Well, you know, I'm sorry, there's no reservations available. So I thought, Oh, what the heck, I'll try it. So just to make it to make it to more um, visual. So I called up. Hello. <laughs> this is Joan Rivers. <laughs> hey, listen, my best friend in the whole world, Louise Duarte, is coming to dinner with her parents. And please, 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 give them the best table in the house and put it on my bill. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> did it work? It worked. Well, I didn't put it on her bill, but it did work. It really did go work. That far, huh? We have a tape, because when this lady's in full regalia, it is really something. Watch her as George Burns, of all things. <laughs> Hello there. I'm, I'm, I'm George Burns. I'm thrilled to be here. At my age, I'm thrilled to be anywhere. You know, you know, you know something. Show business has changed. Yo, 40 years ago, I was the most successful straight man in Hollywood. Now you're lucky if you... 
we're talking about is his husband, Barry O'Rell. You've been together. He's your manager. Yes. And uh, that was from off the wall. That was absolutely yeah. unbelievable. Oh, the makeup for that. Oh, Lou Lazaro was the makeup man for that show, and he was incredible. You know, Barry, Barry is managing me full time now, but that wasn't always the case. He bet me $50. I was a housewife in the Valley in Southern California, and he bet me $50 I would not go down to the comedy store and get on stage and try to do an act. So I said, what the heck, I have nothing to lose. You know, I have my two kids and everything. I mean, he's working. Went down there and got on stage. Star Search Scout saw me. Six weeks later, I was on Star Search. And then two weeks later, I was opening for Donna Summer at Harris and Lake Tahoe. So now he's managing me full time. And who's cleaning the house? Oh, well, I have my mother out there. <laughs> yeah, do you? Give her something to do. <laughs> This is terrific. All your friends from Quincy. Oh. Say hello to them. Oh, I love them. Call me. You never call, you never write. <laughs>